What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn how to utilize Agent GPT to produce efficient prompt. And you might be wondering, like, what is Agent GPT? Well, is it the same like ChatGPT? Well, actually, they're not the same. So ChatGPT is an AI chatbot where you can ask any questions and ChatGPT is going to answer your question, right, with the human-like answers. However, Agent GPT is totally different thing. So Agent GPT is actually like the latest autonomous AI technology. So you can treat Agent GPT as your AI assistant. Uh, you can assign a job or assign a task for Agent GPT to do. And then Agent GPT is going to complete the work for you without having your supervisions, without having you to dictate Agent GPT what to do. So it's going to be like, um, independent assistant which is able to operate without your supervisions like automatically or autonomously right so it's going to be pretty cool here um so to get started just click on this link and it will take you here so welcome to agent gpt um so the url is agentgpt.rework.ai all right so as you guys can see um this is what agent gpt looks like and to get started, the only thing that you need to do is to sign up. Just click sign in. I'm going to assume you haven't created your account here. So I'm just going to click sign in. As you guys can see, we have three different options that you can choose to sign in. You have uh, Google, Gmail, uh, you have GitHub, and also Discord. All right, so just pick one of them. This time I'm going to sign up using my Discord account. So I'm just going to click Discord. All right, so it's still loading. Just wait. It will not take too long. All right, cool. So now um, your Discord account will be connected to your Agent GPT. But if you don't have Discord, don't worry. You can also sign up using GitHub or Gmail. All right. So just click authorize to you know give authorizations to Agent GPT. All right, cool. So welcome. Uh, this is Chat uh, Agent GPT, not Chat GPT. And the first thing that you need to do is to name your autonomous AI agent. So let's see, we want to name it as prompt generator, right? Because that's going to be the main job. That's going to be the job desk for our AI assistant. So prompt, or maybe I'm going to start with this AI prompt generator. And you also need to assign the task, all right? What you want this AI assistant to do, right? What's going to be his job uh, desk, his job descriptions, all right? So I want this AI assistant to help me generate high quality prompts. Generate me um, complex prompts for ChatGPT. All right, so I want uh, this AI assistant to generate me complex prompts for ChatGPT. But I think we need to be more specific, right? Because there are many different type of prompts. Um, we need to specify like what's going to be the end goal here, right? What's your objective? Um, actually, I want this AI assistant to generate me a complex prompt, complex prompt for ChatGPT um, related to dropshipping business, right? So I'm going to modify this a little bit. Generate me a complex chat GPT prompts uh, for dropshipping and e-commerce business. And you might be wondering, is this free? Well, it is free, right? So don't worry, it is going to be free. And once you're ready, you can deploy your engine. But before that, you can also um, do the setting first. Um, so you might want to uh, turn this on if you want the AI to be able to generate your image. Uh, you can also turn this on if you want uh, the AI to be able to search uh, Google for information about current events. Also turn this on if you want the AI to be able to write code for you, right? So make sure you turn all these on unless you want to exclude this then turn that off all right so just close make sure that you turn them on 
and then to pause it you can turn this on but again we shouldn't do it and down here we have deploy agent button all right so just click on deploy agent and now it is going to deploy our ai agent so just wait sometimes it takes a while it can be like a couple seconds or even minutes it really depends on the complexity of your uh, request right identify the target audience and needs for the dropship or e-commerce business research trending products within as you guys can see um this ai agent keep generating a new output right without having uh to be supervised without having to be dictate like hey what to do what to do um instead this ai agent can operate autonomously right which is pretty cool right if you want to stop just click stop agent and then it will stop so yeah to identify the target audience and needs. so as you guys can see um these are like pretty complex prompts that you can uh utilize all right so completing generate if you want to take your time to read just pause mode so it will pause your agent so you can scroll up and then start reading um the output right but wait it will continuously um generating output right unless you unless you stay stop unless you click on this button stop agent and then it will stop section one uh, prompts welcome to our dropship look at this oh pretty cool right and sometimes it takes uh the ai agent like a couple seconds to think it really depends on you know the complexity of your uh job right so yeah um that's how it works guys uh this is very new technology so i haven't used this for a very long time in fact i have only used this for like a couple weeks but i really like it though i really enjoy um this cool autonomous ai agent so it's really helpful super helpful yeah um so that's how it works if you want to stop just click stop agent and it says no more subtitles for uh so he might be wondering if you have you know additional job for him look at this um it also generates you like the problem for market research for your e-commerce or dropshipping business which is great without having you without having to be told hey i want this without having to be told like i want you to generate this prompt you only need to uh sp specify like the job and then click deploy agent and then it will generate you it will continuously uh, generate you uh, many different prompts related to your given topic right which is amazing so yeah to stop it just click on stop agent and then you can scroll up and start reading the output that's how you do it guys very powerful tool uh, you can utilize this autonomous uh, ai agent not only for generating prompt but also for you know other purposes right maybe you want to do market research you want to do product research or you know arrange your marketing strategies whatever your um, objective is you can uh, utilize this agent gpt so yeah um that's how you utilize it guys um i think that's it that's all you need to know about agent gpt um uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to learn about, you know, potential ways to monetize our expertise in prompt engineering by selling ChatGPT prompts on online marketplaces like Etsy or Gumroad. So we're going to discuss more about it in the next video. So I'll see you guys there.